I want to get the perfect strafe angle like this on controller. I have that little indent to just nudge my thumb right into. My name's Ken and I've been playing on something called the keyboard joystick for a while now on Fortnite. I have around five or six of these things. I also have the original one from GMK, which is a company that makes these, which are probably the ones that most people know about. Long story short, I was playing on the GMK joystick for around six months, maybe seven months. I made a progress video about my movement and just how well I've been playing in that six months. And I usually like to do that every couple, you know, sporadically so people can see my progress and i had something pretty crazy happen so a subscriber for the sake of the video we'll call him bob he emailed me bob is an engineer and he's really good at making things with a 3d printer bob between me and you he's a little bit of a boomer so he believes that he really needs to have optimal binds on the game so he can kind of be at his best level of potential he didn't feel that comfortable using the gmk joystick so he decided to make his own he saw my video he sent it to me and you guys probably know the story if you watched the first subscriber video where i went over the pros and cons and whether or not I would switch to it. So we're talking probably like two months later, maybe even three months later. I've been using this thing almost the entire time I've been playing Fortnite, pretty much since I got it. And I decided that I'm fully switching to it. I know this intro is mad long, but it's so hard to tell a story on Fortnite while trying to play at the same time. But in this video, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of this joystick. And I'm going to talk to you about why I switch, show you what mine looks like, and help you guys understand why I moved from the GMK one to this one. Then hopefully, I'm going to try my best in solo arena. And I'm going to get a W no matter what it takes. So I did the math the other day. And when it comes to playing on a keyboard joystick on Fortnite, I've been playing on things like this for nine months. And I'm not not even kidding when I say that I think one of the biggest things is how much it slides while you're actually playing the game. So Bob created this little piece of plastic that you rest your wrist pad on while you use the joystick and it has a little piece of rubber on where it touches the keyboard so it creates a little bit more friction. We've been through multiple versions of this joystick and Bob probably sent me around like I don't even know like six of them. We tried so many different settings and all this stuff. And without further ado, it's finally no more customization. This is what we're going with. I have the final one and I'm playing with it right now for this video. And like I said, I'm going to try and get a win with it in arena. People who have joysticks, I'm going to make sure I put my key binds at the end of the video. I'll tell you one thing some people may be curious about is that there's a button on the GMK joystick, which I used to use for my ping, like to ping stuff in the game. Now what I do to ping stuff is I push down on the analog stick. Now, as long as you apply just a little bit of pressure down on this wrist pad, the thing barely moves and it makes my Fortnite life when trying to piece people and play the game a whole ton easier. Now, as I drive from the bus, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons, hopefully in the most organized way possible but i want to let you know that you should be using coke and beans <laughs> but in all seriousness right now there's a limited supply of them on amazon you can get them prime day shipping and everything directly on amazon you can get them with the wrist pad or without the wrist pad Now, chances are, if you know my channel and you know me, like I've had a wrist pad for a while now on Fortnite. I actually had to buy the one that Bob told me about because it wasn't helping with this specific joystick. This small little wrist pad that I have is actually 10 times better than the larger one because it's perfect to know exactly where I need to apply pressure so that it doesn't move when I play. Now, I'm going to tell you right now why I think if you're looking to get a joystick or you're semi-interested in it, this is hands down the best one that money's going to be able to buy. So the pros of using a keyboard joystick. Biggest thing, straight controller movement. And if you even want it, you can plug up keys to X and I'm pretty sure you can get even more of a strafe angle. So there's always that customization. One, you get the most optimal binds in the game, hands down. I, my key binds are going to be at the end of the video, like I said, but I'm just going to briefly talk about where I rest my hands just so you understand how optimal my key binds actually are. So naturally, as I'm running right now, right, I'm farming mats and all this stuff. If I want to take out my shotgun, I rest my hand on the S key. So instead of WASD, S, Z, X, C. That's what my WASD is. So S is my shotgun. Z is my floor. C is edit. So at any point in time, I can edit, take out my shotgun and move all in any angle I want while being on keyboard and mouse. That's why this thing's kind of really overpowered. If you can get used to it, of course, that's the first con. It takes some time to get used to. Martas is an example. He's done it. Took me a while. I've done it. I've made videos about it of progressions and all that. Oh, for peace. Oh my God, that AR took so long to shoot. I think it's gonna really separate me and anyone else who uses a joystick. Not only does it make Fortnite a little easier to play, if you happen to make earnings with the joystick, you're gonna be known as one of the only players to actually do so. So if I end up making it playing comp, I feel like it would be a lot easier for people to notice me, especially since I was like one of the first ones to actually use it in competitive. 
So you may be wondering, you're like, Ken, how many times are you going to die before you actually get a win in solo arena? Let me tell you, it's super difficult to tell the story and have good gameplay. I'm trying my best out here. This one is going to be the win. I'm landing on this. Posi vibes, posi vibes. In times like this, I know you can't hear the audio, but tell me this isn't the coolest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Let me stop. Yes. We got a crack for once. Clutch. Oh, wow, that was such a heavy pump. Oh, let's go, bro. So I ended up taking a little break. You're never going to believe this story that happened to me during this like two hours. So as you can see, here's the first game that I played today. I died so many times in arena, mostly off spawn. Then I had 82, 81, 74, 81st. During that last game, I said, I'm done. I'm taking a break. I went to go get food and I got a flat tire. I got so mad in arena and then left. And then I got a flat tire. Nice. Easy cleanup, maybe. Nice, let's go. Had to get some points on the board. So yeah, the cool thing that I was trying to get at for so long, the earlier version of the joystick, the reason why Bob kind of redesigned it so many times is that this joystick actually has an indent on it. So what's cool about it is if I want to get the perfect strafe angle like this on controller, I have that little indent to just nudge my thumb right into. And it's not overbearing to where I think it's going to like hinder my movement. If you didn't have this, then you'd just be like bot walking a lot. Because you see like, even though I have the joystick, like you could still bot walk. But if I just go right to that angle, every time like i'm never gonna bot walk as you can see i'm literally doing it right now i wanted to mention my most frequently asked question and people literally ask me this every time i stream they ask me since i've been on the joystick like do you think i should switch is it worth and to be honest i do think it's worth and i'll tell you one thing i'm very happy that i ended up switching to this specific joystick the switch to this joystick is going to make the process way more intuitive than other joysticks because the movement going straight is literally going straight talked about this in the other video but on the gmk joystick if you wanted to go straight you actually had to move your joystick to the right now to each their own some people may prefer that but as a starter I definitely think this one's a little bit more friendly. With that out the way and no flat tire on my car anymore, it feels good to say that I'm going to win this game. Scale of 1 to 10, how surprised are we? I decided that I'm switching it up. I'm going to voice over the rest of the stuff I have to say while I be silent and clutch up this dub. As you watch this, I'm going to talk about why I made my keybinds the way they are. So that way we have a general understanding about exactly what's going on here. I kept my binds the exact same from when I wasn't on a joystick. They're slightly different, but the thing that I talked to Martos about, what made the switch really easy for him, and if you plan to make the switch, just keep this in mind. He tried to keep his build binds mostly the same. If you have to relearn how to build again, that's probably the the hardest part of Fortnite. All the other stuff is kind of just the little stuff. You'll get faster at learning how to do all the other stuff on Fortnite, but if you have to completely relearn how to do 90s and build again, that's the stuff that's going to be a little bit more challenging. That's the main thing. When Martos told me that, it just made so much sense. So I'm sure it would click with you guys as well. So I'm just going to kind of give you like a little background into like what's going on. Specifically, it's called the Max Stick. That's the official name of this joystick. So I've been talking to Bob and whatnot, and he's been sending updates to me through Discord, but he has them posted on the website. So 
so that if there's ever a firmware update, you could just go to the website and then just boom, you got it. Super simple. And the good thing about Bob, right, is that he also knows how to make YouTube videos. He doesn't have a channel or anything, but on the site, he puts together simple tutorials for you to follow to like, once you get it, you know what to do and whatnot. So you're not lost. It's really not even that hard. Once you get it set up, you don't have to do anything ever again. What most people probably want to know is that if you don't have a PC or if you don't have a Windows PC, this Mac stick device works with Mac and on console. Bob's words exactly is that it works on Mac and console by converting it to keyboard movement firmware. And that firmware update will be available on the Mac stick website. Just so you know, though, if you're on Mac or on console, it functions like a joystick, but it's not true controller movement. It's not the exact same like you're going to see me using it in my gameplay. It's pretty much like you're using keyboard binds, but it's on a joystick. It's kind of weird, but it's also kind of cool at the same time. I don't prefer it, though. Just so you're aware, the analog stick that it comes with, you can replace them if you knew how to. It's really not that difficult. I did it myself, but it's the same one that's on the Xbox controllers. It's a little bigger, and I personally liked it way more than the smaller version that was originally sent to me when Bob first made it. I don't use any attachments that go on top of the analog stick or anything like that. I've been using it straight up for months now, and I like it. Shout out to the homie Bob, though. I mean, his real name is not even Bob, but he put the bean on my joystick. I appreciate that so much. It looks dope. You can get it with the wrist pad or without the wrist pad. I strongly recommend that you get this wrist pad. It's really sticky, and it, when if it ever gets like too much dust on the bottom you can always just use soap and wash it off and it's sticky again it's super good it's small and doesn't take up any space on your desk i have my own wrist pad i ended up getting this one because it was better it was more snug and yeah just some kind of positives that i thought i'd mention the things that i like that we kind of did differently from when like the first version we had when bob made this joystick originally he planned it so it's literally as close to the keyboard as humanly possible now obviously all keyboards are different but he somehow found a way to just nudge it right up to it and when i told him that it was still kind of sliding the next version that he sent to me he put these like rubber pieces on the back of it so it also creates more friction to the keyboard and you got the friction between the wrist pad so it practically literally like it doesn't move anywhere when you play as long as you have pressure down with your wrist it's not that bad and i initially thought when i play video games like i'm not putting a lot of pressure down on my wrist so i thought like this idea wouldn't work it turns out though like whenever i'm doing something crazy or something that i think would just kind of move the joystick that's when i'll try to apply more pressure than usual i have like feather hands when i play on keyboard and i feel like that helps me press keys better and faster, but I didn't have a problem adapting and I honestly like the way it feels now. If you found out about this through me, do me a favor, use the affiliate link down below. It's a limited supply, so if you want to buy one, I'd probably recommend doing it sooner than later. But yeah, it's on Amazon, so you guys know how that is. It's super safe and feel free to check it out for yourself. Everyone's been asking me to get their hands on one, so I figured I'd make this video to do so. So the last step in this process is my key binds. Here they are right now. I always get asked like, why do I have such weird binds? It's because I have a joystick. You have to completely change everything around. Feel free to check it out. You know how nice Amazon is with their return policy. Don't forget to use my link down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.